What is up guys, welcome back to the videos. And today, we're gonna be doing another review. Now, if you're new to the channel, you probably don't know, but a while back, we did a review on a pair of shoes. I ordered a pair of the Hard Tune Fuji 2s, and I did a review on YouTube about these shoes, which if you guys don't know, you can go back and watch it. I'll leave the link right here. If you go back, you watch the review, uh, I really like these shoes. Now, I've worn these very sparingly, uh, over the last couple years um, just because they're super nice and they're white and usually white shoes I get dirty but the people over at hard tune saw this review and were like hey Ryan would you like to do a review about another pair of shoes and I said well yeah of course so the people over at hard sent me their new and improved updated hard tune Fuji 3s and we are gonna get into the review today so let's take a look at the unboxing right now. All right, so I have the box here in front of me. And again, the box is super rad. They did the same thing with the last box for the Fuji 2s. And they did this wonder, wonder, wonderful job with kind of adding that initial D flavor to the box. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so we got our paper. Oh, looks like we got some goodies in here. Let's see. So it looks like a hard tuned sticker. Looks like we got an extra set of laces and a uh, looks like a thank you card with some free stuff that uh, you can get when you order something. So let's take a look. Ooh, ooh, okay, all right, okay, okay. Let's take a look at this real in depth. All right, so now we have the shoe in hand and I've gotta say, they really changed up the design from the Fuji 2 and I kinda like it. Uh, obviously it still has the Fujiwara Tofu Shop uh, on the side, actually both sides. Um, but what they did do is they did a little bit different with the strap, which I kind of like. Um, more of an Air Force One kind of style to it. And let me grab the other shoe. So they still did, the stripe and everything like that. Um, let me get this tag out of the way because the tag's kind of in the shot here. But there we go. So still kind of the same idea. Obviously they added the hard tune logo there, which I think was on the bottom of this shoe. So um, now one thing that I can tell you differs from the Fuji 2 to the Fuji 3. This is more of a Converse style shoe and this is more of a high top, um, kind of like a Air Force One style. Obviously not 100% look like an Air Force One, but definitely you can tell the difference in the changes. Now, one of the changes from the Fuji 2 to the Fuji 3 is the bottoms. Now, the Fuji 2 had a clear sole with a toge on it, and they changed it up for the Fuji 3 and put the toge on there, but they did a kind of a, a uh, solid bottom on there. Um, definitely dig this. Um, I think it would get probably a little less messed up over time. Obviously you can see these are dirty because I have worn them, but um, definitely pretty cool. Now one of the other cool features about the Fuji 2 that I really liked was the inside. Now I know this is really goofy, but if you look inside, you can see they have like a manga style initial D kind of like sole in there. And then there's a, in the side, it says uh, driving Driving technique is not something you can obtain in a few days, and it's on the side there. So uh, on the inside of the Fuji, let's put those back there. The inside of the Fuji 3, let's see if we can open it up and show you guys. Same thing, they have a really cool kind of, uh, this is pretty neat. So the bottom is very reminiscent of a Brid uh, seat. So the gradation seat that they usually do uh, for like bride or brid, whatever you want to say. Um, but the gradation, but it's hard tuned, which is pretty neat. And then the other thing I really, really thought was cool is the tongue is an electronic display. And if you know anything about the Hachirokus, they had this sort of display in the car and a couple of the older cars um, were, uh, same thing, had like this digital display or whatever in it. So, but it, it goes up to 11. So I, I, I opted for an 11 in these. Um, they told me they run a touch big. Um, the Fuji 2s that I got are a 12, which fit pretty good. These fit pretty good. Um, I definitely think they run pretty true to size. Um, I think uh, if you're in between sizes, I would definitely go up a size. 
uh, just because I, I, you know, the last thing you want to do is get, I'd rather them be big than small. Uh, one of the other details that they went from both, and they, so on the front of the tongue of the Fuji 2, it says, uh, born on the Toge, Guma Prefecture, uh, you know, Honshu, Japan. So they did the same thing on the Fuji 3. So same tongue, just a little bit different sizing. Uh, and then same thing on the back. They did kind of the Shibuko, Shibukawa uh, line on the back there. So, I mean, some of the features from the original Fuji 2 uh, are there. I think they just overall went with a little bit of a different design on the, on the shoe um, with the strap and more of a kind of a, more of a high top vibe to it. Um, other cool thing that they did in the Fuji 2 that they, that they continued in the Fuji 3 was the tag that comes on it has a, a little manga in it. So like if you go through, it's a whole manga story um, in the tag, which is pretty neat. But I'm going to give you guys some more uh, shots of these bad boys uh, and just kind of show you guys what they look like. If you're, if you're wanting to grab a set of these, I definitely would. If you have the Fuji 2s and you want to get the updated version, definitely go with these. I would, like I said, I would definitely up a size if you're in between. Like if you're an 11 and a half, I would probably get a 12. I'm usually 11 and a half or 12, depending on the shoe. And the 11s fit pretty decent. Um, but that's what I would do uh, if you're going to do that. But overall, uh, I think this is a really cool update of a shoe that I, when I bought, I was super stoked on because I'm a big, I am a big initial D nerd. So these are really, really neat. I think um, it's a cool update to a shoe that honestly I didn't think needed an update, but they did a really, really good job of kind of making it more of a modern style high top shoe. Um, I'll probably wear these sparingly too. I the only, like they're white shoes and I mess up white shoes. So um, I will probably wear these sparingly, but man, these are rad. So let's get you guys some more shots of the shoes. And then you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so far, I'm incredibly impressed with Hard Tunes uh, shoe options, especially the initial D stuff. Um, and I'm really, really, I want to say thank you to the guys and the people over at Hardtoon for sending these to me. Um, and hopefully you guys have the same experience I did with these shoes. Uh, but you know, jump in the comments, let me know how you feel about the shoes. If you have a pair, let me know what you think. Um, and then let's get to those shots of the shoes right now. the shots and the new shoes and I put the old shoe in there just for just to give you guys an idea but like I said earlier let me know in the comments what you guys think about the update from Hardtoon and again thank you so much to the people over at Hardtoon for sending me these shoes I definitely love everything that you guys do I have some of the Nabori flags and the car flags in my game room we're in right now so I love everything that you guys do and thank you so much for sending these and let me know in the comments guys and if you're not already subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel we're going to try to do more of this stuff this year i really want to do some more reviews i do like doing this so like subscribe let me know what you guys think about the shoes and with that guys we'll see you in the next one